So, a lovely day, a lovely fire. It's just dying off now. Got some rocks. I'm gonna put my grill back over the fire when I leave. This grill with the rocks on top of the corners to keep it down. It should be there next time I come. There's no reason anyone should come up here. It's so hard to get to. Dog's still chilling. He's waiting to go home, as am I. Just clearing up. Cleared the hole out again today. I've got a log for next time I come. I've been harvesting. There's pine, by the way. <sighs> Fat wood in there, it's beautiful. Oh, the birds, all you can hear is the birds singing. This little place I found is amazing. I no longer have to climb up that really steep, nasty slope, which I mean, to be fair, is very nearly like impossible to get up. So I've hacked a path through the back way through there. Can't really see, but that's the way I'm going home as well. You're kind of bushwhacking, but every time you bushwhack it, you clear a bit, it gets clearer and better. This place is really coming on. I need a shovel up here next time I come because this bank's come down and I need to get that back to the sandstone that you can see there, look. I just need to get the dirt out and chuck it out, make a bank, add to the bank around the edge that I've got going. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put an A-frame up in this bunker, both ends, this end. Just shy up the fire so the fire can chimney. And I'm gonna put logs build a proper A-frame structure, put logs over it, nice and thick stuff. I'm gonna do that nice low profile, because I mean, this is a deep hole. It's only gotta be, I don't wanna stand up in it. I just wanna sit in it comfortably. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna carve this hole out. I might have to put this fire down a level where the log is now, because I've put two levels. Ground, first, second. But that's a good fire for chilling out and sitting around. But I think the fire might have to go down there on that step when I'm in the bunker. I've got all these visions and plans and I'm really sad because I lay around in bed at night thinking about it. How can I improve that? How can I do that? I need a permanent structure over here that's going to last. But I'm worried about the kids this summer coming up here because they predominantly built this campsite many, many, many years ago, we're talking now though. I mean, you're looking at about at least 10 to 12 years ago, looking at the stuff I found that's rotted. You've got tent poles everywhere, look. More air that I've collected that I use, that useful carbon fiber. That's my fire poking rod on there. That's my grill hanging on. Like I say, the grill, that's going on top of this fire. And that's going to sit there on top of these four cans I've got, which create a base. See that? Empty food cans, right? Perfect. And then I'm going to put these stones that I've harvested. They're still red hot, by the way. Oh, glove time. Hang on, people. I mean, these stones were in the fire. And they're still red hot. He's going to sit there. He's going to sit there. He's going to sit there. I need but one more for the front. And that charcoal is still red hot, by the way. So that's now cleaning that grill off quite nicely. I'm gonna leave this be today. So, it's done. But it's still red hot. That's good. 
that's set for next time, maybe tomorrow actually, the way things are going. Gary's promised to come with me tomorrow. This place is getting really good. I've cleaned out all the dead wood and uh, you can't really see beyond where I'm sat, but I have stripped this place down of dead wood, dead fall. There's a little branch there I need to cut off, but it's only a little one. There's no dead fall up here to kill me. Dog's just seen a squirrel. You know it's spring when the squirrels are out, right? The dog's loving it up here. He's dug himself a little bunker, look. Can you see that? Trust me, it's quite a shell spree. He's dug there, that's his little bunker. I got a hole. He wanted a hole. Bless his socks. Anyway, yesterday, see the, see that scar on the glove? That's a burn from that rack. Luckily, I had this glove on when I decided to pick it up because, wow, I mean, that's like your finger. Look at it, right up across the finger, down the palm. These things, 10 quid in a garden center, thick suede, like welding gloves, gardening gloves, but they take so much abuse. Honestly, people, my thumb's just healing under here. I'll show you. I had a hot ember go under my fingerless gloves and it just sat under the glove. I couldn't get it out and it burnt a proper hole. Trouble is, it's a scar next to it from a sore accident I had. Mm-hmm, yeah, sore, you've got it. And it's just a mess now. The bending of it is compromised. It's getting better slowly, but painful. Don't fuck around up the woods, people, because the woods bite back. And when they bite back, it's painful, by the way. So for today, grill is weighted down now with some rocks. And by the way, they're quartz rocks. They haven't exploded yet. I was worried they would and cover me in shrapnel like Vietnam, but they haven't. So the grill's not going anywhere now. It's just sitting over the fire waiting for the next mission in the hole steve's hole dog loves it i love it i'm gonna keep loving it because it's now spring and summer and it's just gonna get better and better and better boom loving it catch you soon